So, so oh, duh. Yeah, hello. Uh, I'm videotaping. It will be very interesting to see the video compilation that I do, which will be, of course, just all the videos I took, all in order, and the one that Buck, and then we'll, Red Buck does. The masterfully doctored version. Spam can be used as a garnish. Spam is a garnish. You got the uh, vegetable, the green things, the things that were grown in the ground. We don't, I don't know what they're for. Yeah, I'll name these things later. <laughs> Did you get some Brussels sprouts? Are you familiar with the produce section? What is, what is, what are these natural things? They're all did you get, did you get Hello YouTubers, it's Bill and... Jeff Butt. What, no. Oh, camera girl. And <laughs> Jeff Butt. Nice view, Jeff Butt. Where? <laughs> uh, uh, Timing is everything. I always, for sanitary purposes, always wash my hands before I cook. All right, I'm going to try this. I'm going to see how this works. That's like this, kind of this kind of That's work. exactly, <laughs> exactly. All right. This. Oh. Every Wellstock kitchen is going to have a band-aid. Well, where are your band-aids at? Uh, it's, it's in my travel kit. Uh, I, have, I have one in my suitcase and one in the suitcase for when we're on the motorcycle and we go over the cliff. Take a look at this. This is the chicken, the Mo, the Mo Rockin' Chicken. Curry powder, oregano, yeah. 21 season, sesame seeds, orange peel, 15, 11 minutes on ground floor. <laughs> Sissy people, I call them. <laughs> people went to college in fancy pants. <laughs> yeah, fancy pants. I see them. I see them drive by, you know, when I'm looking at the bus window. <laughs> you really can't have too much quinoa. Too much quinoa. At one sitting. Actually, I've never had quinoa, so I'm not sure that that's true. Might not be true. Uh, cinnamon, you get cinnamon six bay leaves. Yeah. Or you have to use a lot of carrot. Yeah. See, that's what I learned in... Uh, you're right. Well, actually, I actually didn't go to culinary school. That's what I learned as a bus boy. Yeah. Bus boys do all the real work. Your average, my average. And Watch you out for your finger. Huh? I got 10 of these things. <laughs> Cucumbers have seeds in them, and you know, that's not good. But the Incans, they really relied on quinoa, and uh, you know what happened to them. Yeah, I was gonna say, how did that work out for them? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, if we're having that tonight, we're gonna be extinct in 300 years. They make great hats. Okay, ones that are still around. there you go. <laughs> yeah, you wanna salt it up to taste, just like any of this stuff here. Not too much salt, but not too little. Well, Just depends on, on what your family history is. That's right. Yeah, heart attacks at a very young age. But really, the ones that lived, they could eat anything. I'm always sincere. I often say things inappropriate, but I'm always sincere. I'm an overachiever, despite the way I dress. Well, Bill, did we hear there's a medical issue here? This is um, you the, are red so dedicated. the red sauce. The red sauce. <laughs> Meal. Are you? No, you don't film that. I, you are fired as a camera person <laughs> right now. I tell you what, if I if I nick myself in any which way, and you come near me with that camera, you're in big trouble. All right, so then you disgorge the, the quinoa. You, you dispense, uh, disperse. You hmm. put the quinoa in a bowl. Well, Brussels sprouts. I'm having seared Brussels sprouts tonight, you know. Because? Because they were on sale. But a lot of tomatoes is good because it's gonna make the, the dish a lot juicier, you know? It'll pop. I don't know if it's gonna pop, but it'll make it a lot juicier. It'll hey, uh, is there a box I can stand on to finish this segment? Hold on. Uh, thank you, Chef Bill. Look at that. This is a great guy to work with. I'm huh? sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> you guys are not paying any attention at all to us. I don't know, you're using the grater to catch the seeds? That's right, you know. To, to my dentist told me to do that. <laughs> I said, doctor, I know I'm not a patient of yours, and I hope you don't mind me stopping you as you're walking by this bus stop. But let me ask you something. You know, if I don't have an insurance policy, what should I do? And he said, whenever you juice a lemon, do it through a grater. <laughs> Salmon is now half done. Go for it, baby. I got a lot going on. I got a lot going on. Who is the neatest cook in the kitchen? No, no, no. I am, I'm, I, I cook in a controlled environment. I'm extraordinarily compulsive. You know? I, I, who, who cleans? I clean up constantly as I go. When I'm finished cooking, there is not a dirty counter or a dirty dish around. You know? But I know what I'm doing. I don't know what to do here. I don't know what to do with these dishes. I'm just... Don't worry about them. I'll take care of it. I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled to I, I, I think. I think he's exaggerating. <laughs> or, or fabricating. Uh, 
<laughs> Oops. <laughs> Susan, did you do that all right? Nicely done. All right, this is Chef Bill and Chef Buck. Here we have, what do we have, Buck? The Spice Girl. Mmm, <laughs> amazing smells coming mm. from this stove. And the key is you don't want to overcook these Brussels sprouts, you know. You want them to have a little bit of a crunch. So all, all together, this is going to take you about 10 or 12 minutes to cook up this, you know. Don't leave, don't be cooking these things for a half hour. Don't be that person. Drew, I wish you were here. Because if you were here, the Drew Network Vice Presidents would be feasting you. And you could have your burrito. Because I think I heard the, bur the, the microwave beep just now. It's done. And your burrito's ready. Thank you. And the camera girl for coming to join us yeah. and cooking okay. dinner with us tonight. Right. Bon appetit. All the wine we can drink. <laughs> This is how Julia's child got started, isn't it? <laughs> Must be. Pretty much. Cheers. Thanks for watching. <laughs>